So here we are again. For the second time this month, there has been more WWE releases. What is going on with this company? Right? What is going on? It doesn't make sense. Budget cuts is apparently the reason, once again, in the most profitable year, budget cuts. The talent that has been released is as follows. Jackson Ryker, Shane Thorne, Drake Maverick, Tegan Knox, Isaiah Swerve Scott, Ashante Adonis, Top Dollar, that's all of Hit Row gone. Hit Row is history. They lasted like a month on SmackDown and now, boom, all have been released from Hit Row. And finally, the one that has really annoyed me, John Morrison has been released by WWE. John Morrison has been released. What? Why? Why can this company just never get it right with this man? He is probably one of the best wrestlers in the world right now. He has been one of the best in-ring workers for years. And ever since he's come back to WWE, he's worked on his character. He's worked on his mic skills. All around, he is a great performer who should have been a world champion at least once in his WWE career. But no, just like that, he's gone once again. And it's, it's like a repeat of 10 years ago in 2011. He got beat up by The Miz, got attacked by The Miz, got skull crushing finale by The Miz, and then he's out the door. That has happened again. I was looking forward to The Miz coming back from Dancing with the Stars and feuding with Morrison, but that's clearly not going to happen now. John Morrison has been released. He's one of my favourite wrestlers. I've wanted him back in WWE for so long. We finally get it. And just like that, it's gone again. Literally, we had him for like two years. Barely even two years. And hit row a month. A month on the main roster. BFAB got released. They worked for like two weeks without her. It didn't feel the same. And now they're gone too. Don't even get me started on Tegan Knox, Drake Maverick. All these guys are regulars on TV. Maybe not Jackson Riker and Shane Thorne, but still. You know, I've, I've never had much love for Jackson Riker, but Shane Thorne especially, one of the best wrestlers in the company. He's a fantastic performer that never really got the chance to show it. I don't know. I hate making these videos, but here we are. More releases in November. Will this affect WWE 2K? Hopefully not, not at this point, and uh, we saw from the trailer yesterday, if you haven't watched any trailer breakdowns, uh, Buddy Murphy is still actually seen in the trailer, so if Buddy Murphy's in, who he got released in, I think, June or July, you know, there's a pretty good chance these guys are going to make it in too, but even still, you know, selfishly, I'm thinking about the game, but these people have just lost their jobs, their livelihoods, their income, such a sad time to be a wrestler and a wrestling fan. You know, there's no job security in WWE anymore. I can't honestly, un unless something starts to change, I don't know why new people would sign with WWE. Because no one is safe. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below about these releases. Do you have the same reaction as me? Do you not really care? I don't know. I, I want to know. Uh, I think all of these guys will thrive elsewhere, uh, especially John Morrison. He he will do fantastic wherever he goes. Maybe AEW, he, he'd, he'd work there, but you know I don't want to be that guy that says everyone goes to AEW. But Johnny Elite does have a nice ring to it. But yeah, once again, let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for more wrestling content, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.